Hey YouTube, so I'm at a friend's house and this is gonna be a rare glimpse into being able to see me because all of my videos I'm behind the camera. So a friend of mine is doing the video for me and we're doing a lot of um, really useful and good soil enhancement techniques. And so we were like, hey, we should make a video. I said, oh my God, that's such a great idea because this is such a great teaching thing that I'm doing right now. So I wanna talk a little bit about, we're gonna do a quick video about soil fertilizer and wor using worms in your bins. And we'll come and show my friend's little garden. She's got a nice cute little backyard garden. And I'm over here kind of augmenting and enhancing her soil. And we're gonna put some plants in, add a little extra soil, add some fertilizer and get her all squared away for this year. So uh, just wanna take a quick moment. This is just general soil. This would be similar to your Espoma or your miracle Grow, um, the shaker kind of fertilizer that's a slow release fertilizer. So I wanna see if you can zoom in here. <clears throat> I just wanna take a minute. I tell people not to get too carried away with the numbers. As long as these numbers are under 20 or 15 and those plants are mature, you're probably gonna be okay um, on here. If they're young plants, you wanna get these numbers to be kind of low. Um, down here, you've got your NPK. All fertilizers have NPK. What you wanna look for to get your best fertilizers is any amount of additional micronutrients. So you've got, this one has boron, copper, iron, manganese, zinc. They also sometimes come with uh, magnesium and sulfur, and there's probably a few others that are not there. It doesn't matter how many extras of these there is, so long as there's some extras of these. You don't always get a whole a whole bunch of them with every fertilizer. So um, that's your shaker fertilizer. Then we also have your water soluble fertilizer. Now this is that granulated stuff that you put in with your five gallon bucket or you put in with your uh, watering can. And for a watering can that's about this size, I would recommend about half of miracle Grow scoop. If you put in a whole miracle Grow scoop, it is not that big of a deal, it'd be just fine. So you just scoop that out, put that in, fill this up so that it gets swished around and then water your plants with that. Um, this one also has, as it, has, it happens, has a whole suite of additional micronutrients. So in addition to just your NPK, we also have magnesium, copper, iron, I can't read sideways very well here, Make manganese, zinc, and so that's just about the same as the other one. Additionally, there's one extra thing that I recommend everybody put in their garden. It's a little bit harder to find. This is a, a brand that I get at a local garden store here, but also I think it's called um, Dr. Earth is the brand name that has a, a comparable thing to this, and I've seen it on Amazon, so you could get it there. Um, this has a regular NPK, a few extra micronutrients, but most importantly, it also has an entire host of good bacteria. Those are your probiotics that we all want in our yogurt and our food and our, our ferments and our kimchi and our, our kombucha. You put that in your garden with your plants and your plants are gonna also benefit from those, get, and then that's gonna come out in, in your food as well. Lower down here, we have a whole host of mycorrhizal fungi and the mycorrhizal fungi makes a huge difference in how your plants is going to be able to uptake the nutrient in your soil so come over here real quick i wanted to show you what we've done in order to enhance these bins that i that my friend has here we've taken just a little bit so this is last year's soil we've taken just a little bit of that soil and we have sprinkled the uh, slow released granulated fertilizer and the one that has the bacteria and the mycorrhizal fungi and I am just taking my little shovel which this is the best tool in all of gardening my little shovel and just incorporating that in before I get my plants started um, if you want to come over here you can kind of see the amounts that I put on so this is just a little I have a little little scooper this is the granulated stuff but just put a little bit of that and then this um, stuff that actually looks similar to seaweed fertilizer I just shook a little bit of that on and then I'm just incorporating that in nothing fancy okay I think that'll do it for this video